This is Brian Hoops, Midwest Market Solutions, Market Insider, Market News. On Monday, it's March the 9th. Well, certainly an ugly day in the grain, livestock markets, equities, um, indices. Everything is, is down sharply except for the bond futures, which are sharply higher. We saw the stock, lock, stock market limit down at uh, one point uh, in the overnight. Then we opened in the morning hours, limit down once again. Uh, crude oil prices dropping below $30 a barrel. I think the only time in history I can remember it dropping was, was around 28 before it eventually recovered. Certainly, uh, changing fundamentals are the driving force in this market. Um, it's not outside reversals or technicals that's driving it. It's, it's the fundamentals of the market, and that's what you really need to focus on. That's what we focus on when we talk about our hedging program, um, our market insider hedge newsletter and tech service that comes out, uh, has clients heavily sold of old crop supplies as well as protected with puts and call uh, spreads. We are seeing some weakness in the grains, although we're trying to recover off of session lows as the crude oil market is recovering. I have a feeling that if we can see some sort of a recover recovery in the indices, index market of the S&P, and of the crude oil, that grains could see a little bit of a bounce as well as the livestock. Stock market mirroring what the stock market uh, is doing as cattle futures were limit down at one point in the morning hours and have traded higher during the day session. Um, as far as news goes, uh, 123,000 beans sold to an unknown this morning. There were, we had weekly export inspections out this morning as well. Corn came in at 32.7, beans at 21, and wheat at 15.3. Uh, other than that, not a lot of uh, fresh news that is driving the markets. Have a great day. This has been Brian Hoops.